there are different interpretations of what you were saying. What what's your what's it explain your tweet to me? Uh, I'm driving right now, but my tweet is I I thought shit was straight. I said everybody has their own opinion. Don't listen to them niggas on Twitter, they're gonna be on your ass. Even though I may not agree with you, I, I, I get that you get your own opinion. I ain't about to try to change your mind. I respect that you have your reasons. Other people have their reasons and shit. I personally wouldn't get no abortion, but I that's, that's other people's business. I'm not about to get into that. But, like, I put that tweet out there because, like, niggas was saying, like, you were calling me brainwashed and shit. Like, for what? After we just had, like, a little, even though we didn't have a conversation, we had a little test. Like, oh, bro, ignore them internet niggas. Everybody has their own opinion. If you're, like... Get on stream and be like, yo, this nigga brainwashed. I know. Okay, so here's... Did you hear me say that? You said what? Did you hear me say that? What did you say? What did you hear? What did you say? I would have to watch back the video to know exactly what I said word for word. My energy, whatever I communicated, my communication was. I said... That I you someone asked me how do I feel about rage being pro choice or being pro abortion? Okay. I said I would have to watch it back exactly to see verbatim, but the energy I carried was was in saying that rage is exactly where I was five years ago. I was pro choice, but if rage believes that killing babies in the womb is cool, then I would have to say that he has also been brainwashed in the same way that majority of people are brainwashed. But I didn't go, I didn't say in no disrespectful way. I was just being honest. I'm not going to cap and say that, say that, oh, if you believe that, because I here's what I believe, Rage. I believe that babies in the womb are babies. They're no different than a one-month-year-old baby, right? So, right. to me, abortion is murder. And so, me thinking that you are a good person who would not endorse the murder of babies, if you believe that abortion is cool, though, that suggests to me that you have bought into the same lie, the same narrative that everybody else has bought into. Now I can say I can send you back the clip, but I'm always gonna stand on what I believe. I understand that, and I'm not gonna debate you on that. But I, I do have a question though. Like I said, I personally wouldn't, but I am not about to argue with somebody that because I don't know another person's situation. I don't know their situation, and it's not my business. But let's say, let's say, like I saw your tweet. I have no, I actually have no problem with the tweet of you saying my daughter can't get raped. But it was it was crazy because I just opened Twitter. That's the first thing I see. I was like, "Whoa, what the hell?" But but like, let's say a, a woman did get raped, right? You did text me before I put that out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but let's say a woman did get raped. You don't you don't think and and she ended up getting pregnant. You don't think and like within like a two months, you don't think she should be able to get an abortion or whatever she find out. Like she was kind of like, "Damn, this rapist got me pregnant." You think she should just uh, like? Go through all that, give birth to that, give birth to the baby, and what adopt it or or do what? Like you don't think she should be able to uh, abort that baby? All right, let me. All right, so before I go any further, let me. I'm I'm on stream right now. You you knew this, right? I assumed that because you know. All right, okay. All right, just so you know. All right, I can help you to answer that question by using something you said earlier. You said you would not go for abortions. You said you're not pro-abortion, yeah? Like, if you get a girl I mean, pregnant, I, you're not... If, you're. All right, go ahead. Me, me, personally, in my situation right now, if my girl accidentally got pregnant or whatever, I wouldn't, because I don't have... I really don't have any reason to... Like, I just don't really have any reason to. But again, I don't know other people's situations, so it's different. So, wait, wait, wait. So you're saying you're okay with abortion in... Give me a situation in which you would be okay with um, aborting. How, oh, go ahead. A woman getting raped. Okay. Why is that the only situation that you would be okay with that? That's the that's one that I know 100%. Like, I'd have to sit down and think, but that's one off the top right now. All right. What's your solution to that? I'm going to show it. I'm, I'm going to, because 
the rape conversation is so it's so emotionally charged. I have to show you how to get to your own solution just using your own logic. So let me ask you this then. Do you believe that there are ever any situations where abortion is wrong? Um, yeah, like, let's say a woman, she got pregnant, whatever, she planned on having a baby. Six, seven months down the line, she's like, nah, never mind, I want this shit. Uh, 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 I want to abort it. Uh, I'm kind of I'm kinda like, ah, that's kind of like, uh, like, kind of rubs me the wrong way. But again, I try not to think about it. I'm trying. I'm trying not to get in people's business. That kind of rubs me the wrong way. But still, I'm not. I'm not about to go fight for a ban on abortions on that. It, it's a. It's a. Do you think it's wrong? For a I woman that, that you that just. I, I'm just trying to be clear here. Do you think it's wrong for a woman that is six months pregnant to have an abortion? It doesn't sit right with me. That's not a, I need a clearer answer. Cause you want a very clear answer and a very hard question. So I need, I'm asking you, I want a clear answer on a much easier question. Do you think, would you, is it, it's either you're cool with it or you're not. But it's not, it's not just a yes or no question. Like, do I think it's wrong? Why it, it sounds as if why all right why isn't it why isn't it just a clear yes why isn't it just a clear why isn't it just a clear yes that it's okay like okay no no matter what it really depends on the situation like me I'd advise like let's say my girlfriend did I'm like let's talk about it this and the third this and the third but if it came to that conclusion I'm not gonna like 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 it is what it is I'm asking you how. Forget how your I girl don't feel feels. It's right. I don't feel it's right. If you're like seven months pregnant, boom, I want to abort this baby. Why? Unless it's like complications and stuff. Why? Why do you feel like? Why do you feel it's wrong to this abort a seven? Full grown, full grown baby. Say that again. Cause it's damn near like a full grown baby. They 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 wanted it the whole time. Then boom, flip the switch. Oh, I don't want this anymore. Uh, abort it. Like they just want to terminate the baby. I don't know. I gotta really think, think, sit down and think. And I haven't see, really thought, just sat down about this like you have. And that and that's what I'm saying. It's like you he, you have to understand that's the person. That's, that's, that, that's not that's not that's but 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 listen. You're trying. To, I I I get what you're doing. At, asking that question but that just doesn't change the fact that you haven't answered my why do you okay all right let me show you why because you haven't given me a clear answer but it sounds to me that you think it's wrong it sounds to me that you think it's wrong for a woman to to abort a baby at seven months right if okay if it's if it you it sounds to me that you believe that at seven months this baby is a person yeah Okay, why is it a person at seven months and not at six months? Bro, darn, I, I get what you're trying to you know, but I, but here. this is how you get to the to answer. And this I, is I, honestly, like, I can be fucked up. I know what you're trying to do here, but I honestly don't care about what you're trying to do here. My question is for you, not me. For you personally, fuck me. Don't give a fuck about me. For you personally, why shouldn't a woman who got raped not get an abortion? Fuck be my opinion. Okay, I'll I'm tell you why a woman, if a woman gets raped, why she should not get an abortion is because there are three people. Let's be clear about something. Rape is the one of the most heinous crimes that could ever be committed to somebody else, right? right. Especially right. when it's a woman being raped by a man. Right. There are three people involved in an instance where a, a pregnancy occurs post-rape. There is right. the woman... There is the rapist, and there is the child, the baby. Right. Okay. Who are the victims in this situation? In the situation of a rape? In a situation where a baby is the result of a rape, who are the victims? Uh, if you're planning on aborting the child, I guess the fucking, the, the child... The what woman, the know? woman, and the baby are the clear oh. victims in this situation, right? Obviously. A child that has come into this 
existence against their will, had no part of it, right. at the hands of an evil man, right. to a world where they will not have a father. Right. This child is a victim. Okay. Yet that is the person who you are arguing to suffer the worst yes. consequence. Yes. Execution. Yes. yes. This is why I do not believe that even in the instance of rape, a woman should have an abortion because it does not undo the rape. The rape has already happened. It, it will not undo the crime. The person who should be held to the highest extent of the law, and if I could have my own way, they would be executed. But in GTA, I suppose I'm supposed to say. But that said, the in the reality we live in, you're arguing for the execution of the innocent I, I, child. I, I understand you're also looking at this. I can feel it now. I can see it now. You're also looking at this that from a, from a, from a, you're, 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 you're religious, right? I am religious. I, okay. So yes, that's all true and all, but I still believe in that, especially in that situation where a woman is raped, how she feels. And what she should do uh, moving forward uh, matters way more than the unborn child. I am sorry. You could feel like I'm a fucked up person for that. But I feel like she has every right to get an abortion in that situation. All right. So we let me abortion. let me ask you this then. Be evil, we just agree. We just disagree. That's just it. No. The, where I'm coming from with it, Rage. Right? Because this is... And this is why, you know, I didn't mean to offend you. Right? insane using the word brainwash but i don't see the the term brainwash as a dig i see it as an accurate description of the situation i have said on multiple occasions in which i believe i was brainwashed in the past on multiple things what brainwashing is is you have, you when you receive so much information on propaganda on an opinion that you end up agreeing with that opinion because it seems to be what is publicly and normally accepted in society that to me is what brainwashing is okay but i don't think that applies to me because this has nothing to do with me reading a bunch of propaganda that's just how i feel but here's what i'm saying because some of the things you're saying though it contradicts that stance you know and look it is not my intent like look this is this is a phone call um right. and you didn't come on here to be convinced but you answer the phone, and I. This is a, this is a very important topic that needs to be discussed, right? In my opinion, and so I mean, everyone's talking about it. It's just that you're not allowed to say the wrong opinion. But everyone has an opinion. Everyone's talking about it. So okay. The problem I have when people use rape as a means of justifying abortion is that it is inconsistent with the way they view the life of the child. Because if there are situations where you believe that that child is a person, then that child is always a person. If that is, if it's a person, if it's an innocent baby, if it's an innocent human, then that is what it is, regardless of how they came about. Now you're saying, okay, but what about the mental health of the mother? What about, that that's where you're coming from right i imagine it's not because you think the baby is evil no it's because you are concerned that maybe this situation is too maybe too traumatic for the mother correct yeah and she that and she just doesn't want a child that but yeah adoption all that yeah she just doesn't want to go through a pregnancy which she was raped um beforehand and and here's and here's and and this is a and a, a little aside that is related to what I was saying about um related to what I was saying about my daughter on Twitter that I believe that a lot of women go through this world too vulnerable and too exposed because they are not raised in a situation where they have men that are that have made it their mission to protect them. So what is what, what are you implying with that? What are you trying to say with that statement? What I am saying is that one, we as a society 
the men in the society need to take more accountability for the protection of the women in this society. And that too many of our women are being led to live lives that leave them too vulnerable to all kinds of dangers and sickos. So there is that, right? I'm saying that... That is true. That is true. But when you were tweeting... Right. I know it's not what you meant, but the way you were worded things made it seem like there aren't... Like, okay, let's say... That, it made it seem like the women that have gotten raped is like they weren't protected. They weren't, they weren't, the men around them weren't protecting them at all. Like anything could happen, um, Don. Like anything could happen, bro. You could protect your daughter to the best of your ability and anything could still happen. I don't, like, but here's the thing. I don't, right. I don't believe that. Okay, that's good. You, don't, you shouldn't believe that. You, you, like, you don't have to believe that. You don't have to believe that. But what about every other woman on this fuck on this planet that's gone through that? Right. Oh, I have you know, all these women who went, who's had fathers around that protected them to the best of their ability. They went to work one day and some fucked up shit happened. This with a, with a man or some shit. Happened. Like, is it like, oh shit, you should have you should have been there for your fucking daughter. You should have sheltered her more. You should have protected her. That's fucked up. Here, but you. That's not how you meant it. That's not how you meant it. But that's how no. it came off from your tweet. Okay, and look, Twitter isn't the best place to try and right. communicate. I know what you meant. Yeah, no, no, but here's what I did. Here's what I do mean, though. Like, and this is why. This is why. Like, this really requires a. These conversations can't occur over the course of minutes, and you know, okay. Twitter isn't. Yeah, and Twitter isn't an easy place to express very complex ideas. And right. I say what I say. I don't really care how people want to interpret it. Right. Personally, right? And so, in I regards mean, to what you were saying, in regards to what you were saying about, you know, that situation, right, with a woman being right. in a position where she was assaulted, right? And, oh, right. you're asking, oh, what... I personally believe that right. as a man, you're supposed to. That's that's just how that's just how I see it. Like that can't happen to my daughter. I'm I'm going like I don't believe, and this is what I'm saying. Like this is, I don't believe in sending your your daughter off to work. I don't believe in sending your daughter off across the country to go to school by herself. I don't believe like I believe that we live. You see, I'm an extremely traditional person, Rage, and I, I don't know how much of my content you even have explored. Wait, what do you mean, like, go, go, go off to work. Like, bro, I don't believe women should work. You see, okay. so if a woman doesn't go to work, she cannot get raped by her coworker. I don't believe women should be allowed to walk around at night by themselves, by their. And by allowed, it's not, I don't mean they should be in prison like it should be illegal. I mean, we need to create a culture where it is normal and expected that if a woman is going to be navigating the world at night, that she will be accompanied by her father, by a brother, by an uncle, by her husband, by her boyfriend. Women, you shouldn't ever see a woman walking around on her ones downtown at 11 p.m. That's how I, that's, that's how I, so that's what I mean when I say I'm, I, that can't happen to my daughter. And, and that's the kind of, and now, of course, I know, theoretically, anything is possible. But okay. when I say that, I say that with over my dead body energy. I'm not saying that it's literally impossible. I'm saying there are certain things, right, that as men, we say with, 100% certainty even though we know technically it's possible like if if someone if I, I said to you oh rage if you go out tonight by yourself a nigga gonna rape you what you gonna say <laughs> what you gonna say that can't happen you gonna have to kill me right exactly so why can't we extend that kind of energy to the protection of our daughters and our wives and our girlfriends and we want to, we do. I, 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 and I believe most men want to, but at the end of the day, there's still like a sense of realism that comes into play. Like, 
I'm not going to be around her every second of her life. I'm not going to be on her shoulder. There's not going to be a man in her protect like not every second of a woman's life. It's like, there's going to be some time where she needs to go to the store, where she wants to hang out with her friends, where she wants to do something, and something can happen, though. And that's why, I know you said you don't care how people interpret your shit, but wouldn't you want people to, wouldn't you want more people to think the way you think since it's the, since, since you agree with it and the society to be more like that? So wouldn't you want people to interpret it the right way and not just people just, just, just tweeting whatever the fuck you want on Twitter? Because well, it, it, let me put it, let me, let me put it like this. If I had tweeted something safe and politically correct and something I sat on for an hour. Politically correct though, it's about wanting people to understand where you're coming from and in, in, in like a, in a positive way. So people are not like, yo, fuck this dude, fuck what he's talking about. Cause let's say you are speaking something like that. Oh shit. The world would be better off like this, but niggas are not going to hear you because of the way you're. But here's what I'm saying. You say that, Ray, you say that, but check me out. Check me out. Right now I'm on stream. I have 1,900 viewers. I haven't, I haven't hit that. I mean, I don't know when's the last time I ever hit that, if I ever hit that. So even though maybe what I said wasn't worded in the most genius way, the end result is I got more eyes on me. And even if out of these 1,900 people fucking... Like, I average around 600 viewers. Let's say that uh, fucking 800 of them, right, are people that are new to me, right? Or I didn't I didn't do the math right. But you get what I'm saying. Let's say most of these people, right, who don't typically tune into the stream. If, I, if one nigga is watching this that is hearing me and it makes him think to question where he stood on abortion in a way that leads him to being pro-life, then I count that as a dub. And if it made me more enemies, if it made me, you know, like, I've n I've showed you nothing but love and respect, bro. And so to me, like, one, I would have, I would, I mean, honestly, you can do whatever the fuck you want. It really don't matter. But the point I'm making is, you know, all I know is I was not talking crazy about you. I'm just speaking my the way how I see things, the way how God has instructed me to see things through the Bible. And I may not have said things in a way that you would have thought was the best way to say it, but it did end with me getting more eyes on this perspective, this very unpopular like, perspective. You feel like that, is, that would have been the only way, that is the best way? That wasn't my intention. Up. I had no intention of anything. I just said, I just spoke how I felt honestly. And this is where it ended up. You get what I'm saying? I don't think, if, if I could choose to always tweet the right thing that's going to get me 2,000 viewers on Twitch or get me millions of views, then nigga, I'd be bigger than Mr. Beast. But I don't know how to do that shit. All I can do is live my life authentically and honestly. And if this was the end result of that, even if it, led to you not fucking with me no more, even if it led to fucking people unfollowing me, if it led to people fucking, you know, thinking I'm stupid or whatever, I don't care. And that's what it is. Because I'm living my life authentically and honestly, and that's all I can attempt to do as a man. Right. I understand that. Um, but, yeah, like... <laughs> Again, I, I you have your opinion. I have my opinion. I, I, don't, I don't really see no problem in, in us having difference of, of opinions. But right, I don't, I, I don't know. Like, and don't and know and this. and look and I look. I respect other people having their opinions. I respect you having your own opinion, and I understand that your opinion is informed by your life experience. You know what you've learned, what you've experienced, what you've thought about. It, that's who we are as people. That's how we... And nobody has a, what they believe is the wrong opinion because if you thought it was wrong, you wouldn't believe it. And so I appreciate two people that can have respect for each other and have different opinions. But that said, I cannot be a hypocrite. And when my fans are spamming... Because you, you put out... You didn't say anything directly, right? 
But let's look at what you tweeted earlier, Rage. If we look at what you tweeted earlier, you said, you said, uh, America is doomed, right? All this and still no birth control, male birth control. The male birth control thing was obviously a joke. That's, that, that's funny. But the America is doomed thing, right? You know, even if you are talking about something completely different, you know, posting that tweet on the day that Roe v. Wade gets overturned is making a stand, taking a stance. That is, yeah. that is having an opinion, right? So, boom, I noticed that. I noticed that. Do I retweet you and come at you and whatever? No, I don't, but I notice it. And I say, okay, that's where rage stands. Fair enough. Just how I imagine you saw my tweets and you're like, okay, that's where Don stands. Fair enough. I get on stream. You know that we have some overlapping fans to a degree. I get on stream. Is niggas constant is asking me, yo, how do you feel about rage and what he feels about abortion? How do you feel? Da da da. And the difference between me and you though, like for some, I could go on stream and you have your opinion about uh, uh, whatever the case may be. And I'm not going to think you're like, somebody could come and say, yo, Don thinks anybody who, whatever, whatever. I'm not going to say you're brainwashed. I'm not going to think you're a uh, brainwashed by prop propaganda. Why can't I just think that? Why can't I just feel like that? Does that just make me an evil ass person? And I just deserve to go to hell or something? Like, I didn't know. I, I, I don't think it makes you because the way how I use the word, that's how I, def that's how I use the word. You, you interpret it how you interpret me saying it and you didn't even hear me say it like i said maybe if you actually heard how i said it how i used myself as an example in that situation you described I, it to me and i still like i just disagreed with it it's just like no and that's like, fair you're supposed to disagree with it because you would not, no one who if someone thinks someone else is brainwashed you would ne that person does never believes that they're brainwashed I used to be just as, maybe not just as passionate about being pro-choice back when I was in college, but I was certainly very much pro-choice back when I was in college. I look at that version of myself, and in my religious, opinion... Were you, were you religious back in college? No. So would you say your, your religion helped you come to this conclusion on how you look at um, this topic? I believe that you can come to my conclusion without being religious however i do believe that it is also further evidence that my religion agrees with that logic okay that's what i believe but yeah i mean look at the end of the day you know what i'm saying like you're your own person i'm my own person we go have our own beliefs i can appreciate and that's why you the, that's why you're rage bro that's why you are as big as you are you you do things Maybe it wasn't the best PR thing or the best, the wisest thing to do as a streamer to uh, to answer honestly what how I feel when someone asks me, oh, how do you feel about Rage being pro-choice? If not, if it was any other nigga, I would say he was brainwashed. But I'm so why would I edit myself just because that's the definition of a dick rider. That's the definition of a hypocrite. Because I fuck with Rage and, I, you know, I admire what he's done. And, you know, I appreciate the ways that he's, you know, shouted me out and put me on in the past. Like, bro, you helped me set up my stream and shit. You know, it was not. I mean, I, I mean, you don't really know me like that. So, you know, niggas, mm -hmm. you niggas can get desperate for clout. And so you might you might have could have interpreted it like that. I don't know. But I can't I can't be fake, bro. I lit, it's literally not in my DNA, bro. I cannot pretend and I'm not going pretty shit up. Just because I'm worried about stepping on a nigga's toes, bro. No, no, you're a grown ass man. I don't, I don't expect you to. Though. I don't expect. So you to. when I said you, it was not a personal shot, I'm telling you that's that's where I'm coming from. It was not a personal shot. I was being honest. I've described myself in as being brainwashed when I look back in the past and see me being pro LGBT, me being pro choice, me being. Pro, I realized to me that was me being indoctrinated by mass media which is far left by academia which is gone far left and bro like i've I, i've changed my mind so critically but i realize how did i come to those conclusions in the past as you said at the beginning of this call this is a topic you've actually never thought 
that deeply on. And that yeah, was the same position. I mean, and that's the same. It's a, it's, a, it's a topic that I thought deeply on, like morally within my heart, but not like in a way where like, yo, how do I want to debate on this shit? If I were to like, I already knew going into this call, you know way more than me on this topic. I will lose a conversation with you on this nine times out of ten times out of ten. But I still fucking, you know. And I, I respect that. I respect that. I respect you don't, you're not right in the fence. Yeah, I, that, that. That I can respect, but at the same time, respectfully, I think you're dead wrong. And yeah, you can feel that. and that, exactly, exactly. Now, you know, I mean, that's really, I mean, this I I do appreciate you staying on the phone, and because there are a lot of people who in, I mean, I don't know if you talk about this stuff on your stream, but it's giving people. This mo a lot. I'll say this: a lot of niggas wouldn't have this conversation. A lot of niggas in your position wouldn't have, even though you're on the side that is popular and is the correct yeah. opinion. It's still mm -hmm. a lot of niggas still wouldn't want to touch it. You feel me? So that I can give yeah. you props for and respect for. And you know, at the end of the day, bro, like I have no animosity or ill feelings towards you, and. I don't, you know, and I don't care or mind if you think I'm dead wrong or if you disagree with me. Ultimately, we're going to have to come to, but I'm going to keep preaching what I'm preaching. And, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just always going to keep it real. You feel me? So, so that's, that's really what that was all about, man. Like I, I was not trying to like start no beef with you or it's like no fuck rage shit. You feel me? I'd hope not. I was trying. I was like, there's not. Like, in my head, I was like, nah, there's no. This is like, that's cap. That's cap. And then I, when I opened your stream, so I seen niggas tweeting that, and I opened your stream, and the whole chat was like, yeah, Rage is dumb, or Rage is brown. I'm like, okay, so, so is that really the type of timing? Like, wait, you Bro, I about? said literally once, and this is the internet. You know, niggas love, niggas love starting shit. Niggas love taking shit out of context. I said your name once. Niggas was spamming shit in the chat asking my opinion. How do you feel about um, creators that you are, you're cool with, like Rage? And they mentioned other people, but the chat was moving so fast. I just saw Rage, and I saw it multiple times. How do you feel about them being on the complete opposite side of the fence of you? And then, so I had to be honest. I was like, and again, I would have to watch it back word for word. But again, I guarantee, I can guarantee you that I did not say whatever I said in any disrespectful way. I was just honest. Okay, I can see. okay. So what? Okay. Because right. here's here's what I believe. There are only two. Tr either you're brainwashed, not you, but either someone is brainwashed or they're evil. You get what I'm saying? That's the person. I don't believe you're evil. I don't believe most people who are pro-abortion are evil people. So in my worldview, in my rationalization it it's because because there's only one right opinion on this that's what i believe what what okay that, that okay i see that i see that but like i still think if i was in your position like if i thought the way you thought not not like 100 percent the way you thought if i was pro life yeah i wouldn't think that people that didn't want abortion to be banned nationwide were evil people or brainwashed though. Why not? I just, I just would think that there may be, if I was in your life, like, if, if I was, if you, if you genuinely believe that abortion is always wrong, right? That's where I stand. If you genuinely believe that abortion is always yes, wrong. I would think I, if, if, if I generally thought that I would think people are selfish. People are, they're not think they're not, they're, they're just selfish. They're not, they're not thinking about, the baby for a but I'm not thinking they're evil. I, I'm thinking they're just thinking about themselves. I'm not gonna say they're evil people. But they're my not, the, 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 in, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead no, go ahead. I was saying because if you genuinely thought that a baby in the womb is a baby, is an innocent person, rage. If you genuinely thought that, right? And right. If you believe that they're a person at any point of the pregnancy, then the only logical conclusion to come to is that they're they're a person from the moment of conception. But listen, 
I, I would right? say it's evil. I would say it's evil. If you're intentionally getting pregnant to to abort a baby, yes, that's evil. That if you're if you're going in, in it with the intentions of bro, I'm a I'm a I'm a to get pregnant so I can kill this motherfucker. That's fucking evil. And I agree. Person, that's that's straight out evil. But if you're a person who's like, oh my god, I got pregnant. I didn't mean to get pregnant. I'm scared. And, and she gets an abortion. I'm just thinking, yo. If I'm pro choice, if I'm pro life, mm -hmm. if I'm on your side, I'm more thinking, yo, this person is a selfish ass person. They didn't really think like, like, like. I'm not thinking they're evil. I'm not thinking like that. Right, but all right, would you not agree that killing a baby, like, remove the abortion part? Let's just talk about a baby that has been born. Wouldn't you say it's always evil to kill a baby? Like a born baby. Yeah. 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 Because that's where it gets tricky for people. For it's just because we can't see the baby. The baby's in a different location. Just, that's how powerful, you know what they say, seeing is believing. That's how powerful this is. The, the fact that people stand where they stand on this shit is genuinely because they can't see the baby. It's why so many mothers who are contemplating abortion, when they go into a woman's health clinic that is pro-life, and they get an opportunity to hear the heartbeat or see the um the the sonogram. That is that is where most that is where a lot of women change their mind because for the first time they're able to see their baby, and they realize it's a person. But but wait 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 I, I was going somewhere with it not to but I was going all right. So you believe a baby outside of the womb is a person is a baby. It's evil to kill that baby right now. If you also believed that a baby inside the womb was just as much as a baby, as a baby outside of the womb. Now, that's the point right there. Right. Now, that right there. I have to get to the point where I feel like a baby inside the womb forming at freaking 13 weeks is just as much as a, as a, as a born baby. I don't know if I'm there yet. I don't know if I'm there. Right, and I feel like, and this is why why I said use the word brainwash versus e evil, because I believe that you're not an evil person, and I believe if you have an open mind and allow and follow me logically, I really do believe I can get you to a place where you believe that a baby at 13 weeks is just as much as a baby that is born. I have a question. This is out of ignorance. I honestly don't know. Right. Does a baby at 13 weeks have a, like, is there, like, facts on this that a baby at 13 weeks has, like, a conscious and shit? So, we know nothing about the state of consciousness of people, period. We don't, we have a very, we don't have an understanding of consciousness, period. We also don't know anything about consciousness in the womb. I will say this, though. There is, ev you can see, so there's no way to measure that. There's no way to measure whether or not a baby is consciousness. But we can go the consciousness route if you want. I can, I can show you. But here's the thing, it, but consciousness, like, like, to have a conscious, you need, like, hella nerve cells. There's a lot of components that goes into the brain to have a conscious. That's not formed yet at no 13 weeks, though, Don. Like we that, don't. That, all right. Like, okay. All right. So if we were going to go the consciousness route and you wanted to talk about the importance of consciousness, would that, that then that would I at the same part, time yeah, say that's a part of a lot of people's people's, you know, but do you but do you believe that? I know I know that a lot of people use consciousness as a means for justifying abortion. But do you believe that it's it's do you believe that consciousness is important in justifying whether or not because once we've I feel like consciousness is important in, in, in determining the difference between a baby outside the room and a baby inside the room. I feel like that's important. Okay, well check this out. Check this out. So as you I'm sure you know I have a baby daughter, right? Correct. Are you familiar with white noise machines being used to soothe babies no okay so when you become a father which i'm sure you will at some point but when you become a father you will learn that there are a, a bunch of things you do in order to soothe 
a fussy baby. One of those things is you use a white noise machine. Why is that? Because it emulates the sound of being in the womb. Another thing you do is you swaddle the baby in a blanket. What does that do? It puts them in the same constrictive position and warmth as they were in the womb. All of this suggests that also we know that babies respond to sounds outside of the womb while they're in the womb. That's why loud noises will make babies jump while they're in the stomach. All of this suggests that babies do in fact have a degree of awareness while being in the womb. But if it is so much that they remember it when they come out. You, you think that's more so like a conscious deep thought of, oh my God, that sound and not a not a, like an instinctive um, thing that's going on? Well, we know it's consciousness on some level because we know people in comas don't react to sounds or feelings at all. And you would never dare argue that a, a, a person in a coma should be killed because they're in such a low state of consciousness. Or someone with extreme dementia, you would never argue that they, ha you know, they don't have a right to life. And we know for a fact that a baby is at least more conscious than a person, a baby in the womb is at least more conscious than a person in a coma or a person with late stage dementia. for people in comas is that they come out of this coma? Yes, but we also know that if you allow a baby to be born, it will come to the same level of consciousness as you and me. Okay, but the person that was inside the coma previously had a life, thoughts, love, relationships, all this, and that, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's the same. So it, you're saying that what gives someone's life value is their lived experiences. I say the difference between a baby in the womb and a person who was already born that lived a life are those certain things. Yes, are those? Yeah. So what about a person who it's hasn't? Part of it. it's part what of it. what it's about part of it. a but what about a baby who hasn't lived a life? Let's say a mother gives birth. Literally, the baby comes out of the cervix, and then that okay. woman proceeds to drown the baby. That baby has just as much consciousness as a baby that is in the womb that was supposed to be delivered. Let's say the next day also has lived zero life, literally hasn't, has taken maybe a few breaths, okay, so if any. Saying, wait, so you're saying, wait, hold on, I, I kind of lost you. So she gave birth to a baby and then she just drowned it immediately? Yeah. And you're coming, and... I'm saying, and, does that, is that not murder? Does that baby's yeah, life not matter? Yeah, it matters. So but what I'm saying is that baby has lived just as much life as a baby that is due to be born in an hour. That baby that's still in the womb. I'm saying that baby has lived as much life and is just as conscious their brain is equally developed. Okay, no one, but no one is freaking aborting a kid uh, an hour before it's about to come out. That's not happening. Why not? That's, that, that just doesn't happen. When, when but do why, you, why not? Why doesn't it, but why doesn't it happen? it's usually if, 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 if abortion is taken action or is a thought it happens way before that they're not waiting until the, an hour beforehand sure it doesn't happen but all right so if it were to happen though is it would it be okay no no what would be the reason to do that is there a medical fuck problem? fuck the reason fuck yeah. the reason because i'm going somewhere with this if it's okay if it's not okay an hour before the baby is born right then one could argue, what is the difference a day before the baby is born? And then if you keep following this logic, what you realize, Rage, is that it is impossible to draw a line in the sand as to where a baby becomes a person in terms of development. There isn't really, because there, again, there are factual differences between a day before a baby is born baby and a 13-week-old baby, an eight-week-old baby. Sure, but there's also a difference between a baby that was just born and a baby that's a year old. And there's also a difference between a baby that's a year old and a fully grown adult. Like we all, it's, it's, there, we're all at different stages of development, different stages of consciousness, different stages of, you know, lived life experiences. Yet no one would ever argue that a baby that has just been born, their life is less valuable than an, 
as 50 year old man who has children and a, a wife and who has lived a long life like both in both cases were you to end your life criminally the 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 criminal will be given life in prison and so what i'm what and this is what i mean when i say um rage that i really be, because i believe you are a good person and because i believe that you would never advocate for the abuse or death of a child that if if i can do my and this is this is all practice for me like this is a lot this is as long as this is a situation in this country i'm going to continue to boldly and courageously say my piece and it, once i get if i can do a good enough job you will end up on my side of the fence if i do a good enough job because i believe you're a good person and i believe you 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 don't believe in the that any innocent person's life should ever be taken against their will. This, this, this sounds fucked up, and it's not very PR of me. This is not very one million subscribers streamer of me. But I don't think that can happen because this sound this doesn't sound quote unquote evil, but it's just the truth. I don't care enough. Like I don't. I I honestly do not care enough because I'm gonna live my life. The way I live my life, I'm going to live my relationship the way I live my relationship. And, like, what other people do, I'm so, I am cannot care enough to, for, to, 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 to try to make other people pro-life or pro I, I just don't. Right. And, but well, why do you... I, I don't... I'm not sure I understand why you... What the so point I of that was. I don't know. You could, you could tell me all the fact. You could tell me all oh, this, that, and the third. But it's not going to change the fact that I'm not going to okay. care. Sure. I'm not trying to turn you into a pro-life advocate. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I genuinely believe that based on two factors. One, you're not okay. evil. And two, you're not stupid. I believe that I can take anyone who is not evil and not stupid and get them to see why a baby in the womb, why their life is just as valuable as a baby outside of the womb. I believe I and I can start there. I feel like we've already accomplished that because you're clearly uncomfortable with the idea of a, a baby that's due to be born tomorrow being aborted or in t in 10 minutes. Meaning that you've ju you've admitted that just because the baby is still in the stomach, it doesn't make it not a person. The next step would be okay, but can I get you to a place where you also see a baby that is 2 months in the womb? just as valid a person as at nine months, which I feel like we've already begun that process. And it, you will come to, at the end of that road is only one conclusion, that a baby is a know, person. I don't know if you could get me to that point where I feel like the difference between a eight-week-old baby and a nine-month-old baby are the same thing. I don't know if you get because first of all, scientifically, they're not. It's not even the same. I'm not saying they're the same biologically. In the same way, a one year old isn't the same as a 25 year old biologically. But what I am okay. saying is the value of their life is the same. Okay, if you could. Okay, I don't know if you can get me to that point, but I'm not gonna say you can't because I'm, I'm not just that. I don't ever say never. Right. But, um, yeah, if you can get to that point, that's that's crazy. But I don't. I, I'm not sure. I mean. Uh, nigga, I ain't got shit to do. You you ready? No, I got shit to do. I'm about to go out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go out. <laughs> All right, well, can we uh, can we say the beef is squashed? Yeah, bro. I don't got no beef with you, bro. I don't have... We, we, we don't have bro, beef. We don't have beef. Okay. But you're going to have beef with them niggas in the, in the comments and shit, though, so good luck. Well, you know, that's always going on. But, all right, my man. Well, you enjoy the rest of your day, bro. All right, bro. Peace. And that is the that is the 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 conversation with your rage. Shout out to the fuck niggas that ran to him like a little fucking like little fucking bitches and tried to start shit. But your shit backfired, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Your shit backfired because I just had an intelligent hour long conversation with one of the biggest streamers in the fucking world on one of the most important topics on the day Roe v. Wade got overturned, nigga. You did that. You played yourself, stupid.
stupid. You dumb nigga. Easy peasy lemon fucking squeezy. All right, this was a legendary stream. Shout out to your rage for having the cojones to come and have a very serious and you know, meaningful conversation. He could have just came on and tried to run jokes or whatever, but he really, I could really hear him listening to what I was saying and thinking and responding. And I could hear that he has an open mind. And I do believe that, you know, Rage is young. I don't know. Do you know old Rage is? How old is Rage? 24? Yeah, 24, I'm 27, about to be 28. Where was I? Nigga, at 24, I for sure was not pro-life, bro. At 24, I for sure was not pro-life. And if the tables were turned, or if I was 24 and in his position, I probably would be saying the exact same shit. I was pro-life, pro-LGBTQ, all of that. I didn't start off that way. When I grew up in Jamaica, abortion wasn't even really a topic to talk about. And LGBTQ shit wasn't really a topic to talk about. But that was clearly not the way shit goes. But then I moved to America. And then the indoctrination starts. Stop going to church. You know, all the people over here, even the black people, they're all very liberal. And so you are around that 24-7 for 10 years. You're going to fucking, you're, you're going to change your perspective. And so my perspective on all that shit changed. You feel me? I let love and let love live or whatever the fuck. The, what's the saying? That love is love or whatever the fuck they say. They say love, live, laugh. Love, live, laugh. Whatever the fuck white bitches be putting up on Airbnb walls. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bought into all that shit. But I didn't think about any of it. I didn't critically think about any of it. I thought about it to a degree, but I didn't like I didn't think on it the way that I've thought on it now. You can see that entire conversation I had with Rage. I didn't mention Jesus not once. I didn't have to because I don't believe you need to be religious to come to the conclusion that a baby in the womb is a baby. But most people their eyes have not been open to that perspective. Because you're not supposed to do what I'm doing right now. For the longest while, the only people who were pro-life were old white men and white women. And, and, and fundamentalist religious people. But now, here I am, young, black, immigrant. I'm saying all the things I'm not supposed to say. Because my eyes have been opened and I want to open the eyes of other people as well. And so that's that's really that's really what it is. That's really what it is. That's really what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. W stream, W stream, W stream.